Hey guys, Joe Ram Fan 30 here with a response video to Blue Jackets 66 um, contest. Anyways, he had a couple questions. Um, one of them was, "What was our inspiration? Who gave us our inspiration for collecting cards?" Well, uh, mine was my dad. He collected basketball cards. Um, I don't have any of those, but I just collect baseball. And plus I collected a lot and traded a lot in high school when I was supposed to be doing school work. <laughs> so, but that's what one of my things is. And his second question was, what other things do we collect besides baseball cards or sports cards? Well, like I said, you know, I collect baseball cards, of course. And I also collect pennies. It's an inexpensive sport cost you a penny to do it but anyways I do that collect all the American pennies I got a few albums going trying to get all the pennies together um, next thing you know, I haven't done in a little while but I collect knives you see here I got a lot of them uh, some of my better knives are like my old military knives. This here is a it's a bayonet to a Russian Mosin the Gaunt World War Two, and uh, listen here, I'm not sure what it is. I think it's World War One. My dad gave me this one. It's pretty old and pretty beat up. And let's see, this one here, I think was Korean War. It's a bayonet for a M16. And well, this one here is not really a war knife, but it's a knife made by Glock. Bet you didn't know. A lot of you didn't know that Glock made knives as well. But they're pretty nice knives. Um, that, that and last thing, I haven't been doing for a while because divorce cost me a lot of them, but I click guns. This here is a Russian Mosin the Gaunt rifle, World War II. It's pretty nice. Fired it a few times. Kicks like a friggin' mule. It'll leave you sore if you don't know how to hold it right. Of course, you know, all the gun snobs out there, don't worry. Everything's been checked. Everything's empty. Of course, you know, I got my own Glock 19 Gen 4. It's been checked. It's empty. There's no bullet in the chamber or nothing. I'm not going to pull the trigger or cock it. Don't want no one screaming about it. So, but don't worry. All my weapons are checked. All of them are safe. So, and of course, I'm always, you know, for gun safety, you know. Make sure your guns are safe in a safe place. And don't hide them from your kids. Teach them about them. Because they're going to find them anyways. And you want to make sure they know what they're doing. They're not fucking playing with them. Sorry, I'm the language. That they're not playing with them. And, you know, that's how accidents happen. But, you know, teach your guns about, your kids about them. Gun safety. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, the firearms. I got more knives than this. But, you know, this is what I dug out. Eh, check this one out. Bet that can really mess somebody up, huh? That's a, like a, this is a, not a real one. But it's a, like a reproduction of a World War One, World War Two trench knife. Can you imagine back in World War II, World War One, can someone getting hit with that? Boy, they're going to be having a bad day. But, anyways, collect the knives, the firearms. Pennies are, pennies are my newest thing. I just started collecting these not too long ago. So, just trying to... It doesn't cost you nothing, though. Just, just the change in your pocket. You don't have to get expensive with this. 
and my baseball cards, you know, my Dodgers, my Nolan Ryans, stuff like that. But I think that's pretty much it. So I hope this works for you, uh, Blue Jacket 66. So that's about it, guys. If you guys like my video, like, subscribe, you know, thumbs up. And um, keep the hobby alive, guys. Talk to you guys later on. Later.